panel approach. Joining us now is Democratic Congressman Joe Sestak. He's a retired U.S. Navy Rear Admiral and the highest ranking former military officer to serve in Congress. He's also challenging Senator Arlen Specter for Senate, his Senate seat in Pennsylvania. Congressman, thank you so much for your time tonight. It's good to be here, Allison. What is this booklet that the Department of Veteran Affairs uses to counsel seriously ill veterans, and what's your reaction to how it's being used now, politically? Uh, uh, frankly, I'm outraged. I think it is absolutely inexcusable to even begin to put any type of fear in veterans that this book is other than what it is, a very sane, sensible guide for individuals just to walk through and think through issues like living wills or who might I turn to for assistance or to make decisions. If those who are in the Bush administration that are now trying to to scare veterans, would just sit back and see where they really guided them to. They guided them to other places in the Veterans Administration as in 2003, the Bush administration denied priority eight veterans, those who happen to make a little bit more than $29,000. Now one million priority eight veterans are forbidden to get any type of health care from the VA. And so under-resourced the Veterans Administration that there is now a backlog of 600,000 disability claims. And in fact, when an amendment was proposed in the Senate for an additional $7.5 billion to make up for the shortfall in medical assistance funding for the VA, it was turned down by the Republican-led Senate. My issue is this. Our veterans deserve so much. They should be worrying about caregivers, those who take time to take care of those coming back from Iraq with traumatic brain injuries, lose their jobs in order purposely so they can take care of their loved ones. Actually, we passed a bill on the House side that just sits in the Senate now waiting to be moved forward in order to take care of our veterans better. These scare tactics with no basis whatsoever is absolutely inexcusable. I hope my next question doesn't sound cold or, or particularly cynical, but why target veterans? Is this a voting block that's in flux, that's, a, that's up for grabs? I don't believe so at all. I think there's this belief among some that our veterans are often taken with those that potentially might appear a bit more conservative. And frankly, I disagree. If there's anything I learned in the military, is that they're a very independent, open-minded, thoughtful group. Those, in, those who are in our military and now are, have retired or they've left the service actually respect candor and they respect those that speak without trying to politicize who they are. The greatest brotherhood, sisterhood I was ever a part of are veterans. And actually that memory of having served together finds, finds the grandest home of all and that's a home in the hearts of brave men and women and those that tend to abuse, misuse, politicize or use as political football veterans, I think that type of scare tactic is absolutely inexcusable and won't be accepted by any veteran, any veterans organization and I speak as one. I want to get one more question in here. I want to talk about the issue of TRICARE. It covers veterans health benefits. In today's Washington Post op-ed, RNC Chairman Michael Steele suggests that it needs preserving or protecting under in this current health care debate. Is TRICARE in trouble somehow? TRICARE is absolutely not in trouble. Again, as I mentioned before, Section 202 of the Health Care Reform Bill in House specifically lays out the Veterans Administration bills and TRICARE, whether you're retired or active, it's absolutely sacrosanct. In fact, for the last four years in the Bush administration, every year, the Republican executive branch came forward trying to raise the cost of TRICARE for our retirees and, uh, and under TRICARE. And we finally this year didn't get an increase on that because we owe those who are active and retires. Nope, it's sacrosanct. And even we just, I'm betting upon doing even better. Congressman Joe Sestek, thank you so much for being with Thanks us. Thanks for tonight. having me, Allison. Now, coming up